the top 10 hardest video game bosses. Only games that I've played. And only two bosses per franchise. Anyways, I'll see you guys at number 10. At number 10, we have Phrynix. This fight is hard because he has two heads. One shoots fire, the other one shoots ice, which also freezes the ground. After you kill them both, a little, a middle, the middle part, or you know, I'm just gonna call it a worm, moves around really fast and tries to launch his head at you. Anyway, after you kill it, it won't stop until you kill it. Anyways, I'll see you guys at number nine. At number nine, we have Warhead. His first phase is pretty easy. All he'll do is move back and forth and hit you with his hand. The second phase is where he starts shooting projectiles, but they're pretty easy to avoid. His second, his third form is basically just, you know, his first form, so let's move on. His fourth form, slash his final form, is where he goes batshit crazy with projectiles, like, very quickly with them. Also, it's like the form where each time you beat a form, you get a health back. He wants to see you guys at number eight. At number eight, we have Mary Abyss. Sorry if I ever pronounced that name wrong, but anyway. The show will slowly fall down to the bottom of the screen. While that's happening, you also got these uh, eels on the side of the both screens. A total of four of them will try to eat your ass. Also, he'll also try to, um, you know, smash you against the wall with the shell, so, you know, you better move in very quick as fuck. Anyway, he also, when he gets all the way down at the bottom of the screen, also try to follow your ass and try to eat your dolphin ass. Anyways, I'll see you guys at number seven. On number seven, we have Thunderbird. Before you can even attack his ass, you need, you need to use the Thunderspell on him first. Anyway, you also shoot fireballs at a pretty normal pace at first, which you're at, with practice, you can dodge pretty easily. But when his health is halfway down, he'll doing it bad shit crazy, and also, got my ass kicked on this guy several fucking times. So, yeah. So after that, he'll do it really fastly, and yeah. He wants to see you guys at number 6. On number 6, we have Wily Capsule 7. He'll disappear and reappear a lot. When you reappear, he'll shoot 4 orbs, which are, which are really hard to dodge. The Fire Orb, which does the most damage of them all, will stun you for a bit, and yeah. The Ice Orb will freeze you for, for a while until you get hit by something else. The Electric, the electric Orb, it only, you know, it only does damage, it doesn't really stun you or use it like the other two. It also does the least amount of damage. You know what, I'll see you guys at number 5. At number 5, we have Golem Oh god, I hate that one. Will make electric balls fall towards you, which takes a lot of fucking damage. Matter of fact, every, every, every attack of his takes a lot of fucking damage. It'll also make you cornered on whatever side you're standing on, and with my least fair attack of this asshole, while lightning strike, strike, and shit up if you don't dodge it in time. And yeah. Also, after that, he'll also charge with an electric attack, which you know is pretty easy to avoid considering how it goes upwards, not downwards. Also, after that, he'll also try to hit you with his um. With his rod. So, yeah. I'll also try to kick you against the wall, too, which also takes a lot of damage. And I'll see you guys at number four. At number four, we have Mr. Sandman. I'll throw face punches at you, and yes, I'm calling them face punches, which are kind of hard to avoid. I usually block them, but anyway, after that, I'll throw side punches. And yes, I'm calling those side punches. Get used to it. Anyway, I'll do that for a while, which is really hard to fucking avoid. Well, not really, but anyway, after that, when he gets back up, or when usually you get halfway through the fight round, he'll throw his fucking Dream Train Express, which is really fucking hard to avoid, which you need lightning reflexes to see. He wants to see you guys at number three. At number three, we have Death. He'll have size follow you the whole time, which goes to a number of four, and also he'll move around the whole fight, wherever you're standing at. I know it's not making it sound like it's a joke, but unless you play this game, you have no fucking clue how, how, how hard he is. But, yeah, unless you've played this game before. He wants to see you guys at number two. At number two, we have Gate. Oh boy, Gate. He'll shoot ener color energy balls at you, which you have to shoot, shoot, shoot back at Keep in mind, it also took one to two fucking minutes to shoot one every one to two minutes. Also, you're doing all this over a ball in this fucking pit, which makes it even worse. After that, Later on in the fight, he'll just start destroying the platforms, you know, the things you just stand on to attack him. And, yeah. I shit you not, it took me three hours to beat this asshole. He wants to see you guys at number one. At number one, we have Mike Tyson. All he'll do is instant knockout uppercuts. You know, instant knockout. For the first half of the first round. Which requires lightning speed to see even a flash. And also dodging. After his instant knockout uppercuts, he'll, he'll do his side punches. 
Yeah. Which are 1% easier than, than the instant knockout uppercuts that aren't instant knockouts. After that, later on in round 2, he'll do his face punches until you run out of hearts. Yeah. Later on, he'll do his dynamite punches with uppercuts that aren't instant knockouts. Yeah. Unless you can play this guy and beat him like I did. You have no fucking clue. He is like legendary difficult. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Anyways, peace out.